Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to teach you about past tense. Again, I give to the YouTube bagan again gar channel ko to tanja cha har a why hin nader bin na kabate isinif ya tendra. Before I'm going to teach you about past tense, you should have to remember the definition of a tense. No, let us classify a simple past tense by its purpose or its use. Use number one, a simple past tense is used to talk about completed action in the past. Another way, not good to order because that umurami ifs would have can be a grammar. Use a simple past to express the idea that an action started and finished at a specific time in the past. If some of the yaru ta kan name yoder banke se jal kamani fi yo bi kamata ikoi toko fi sati tumu kamani fi hinna derpinna. For examples, I saw a movie yesterday. Ankalisa movie yaler. I didn't see play yesterday. Last year I traveled to Japan. Last year I didn't travel to Korea. On all these examples, look carefully. Yesterday, yesterday, last year, last year. All these verbs are describes a tense which is completed action in the past. Yesterday and last year, last day. All these sentences are imply a tense is past tense. Meditoni kan nina ka kalisa. Yo derby, bara derby, guya derby, to ban derby. Yo raja man kun ina derby na kisat kan ayelam nung. Use number two. A past tense is used to describe a series of completed actions in the past, especially when we write or when we talk about something which is in chronological order or when we write historical or something which is history. Which other side and two more men if so can we find it? Especially can we can find them? Zero. Which other thirty by something you can most easily find them? If so, you can barely find them. Because for Kenya history, you can barely find the chronological order of history. Look carefully. For the purpose of a series of completed action, when we use a past tense, we use a series of completed action, third, fourth, first, so on. Example. I finished a work. I walked to the beach and found a nice place. All these are three different types of actions, but it is happened in order. He arrived from the airport at. Eight zero zero. Check into the hotel nine zero zero and meet the others. Did you add floor four in the milk design at X? Use number three. Duration in the past. When we say duration in the past, the simple past can be used with a duration which starts and stops in the past. A duration is a longer action, often indicated by expression such as for two years, for five minutes, all day, all year, and etc. The final is that for thirty one derpen, argis is sudah kan integer kamu cecuda. Simply past tense in kuning thirty one zero derpen kisah jel kebaman ini akas mas tawat ini papan baru kan zero derpen argis isa. Thirty one cecun zero kecuta zero era itu kof. Rawa tama turun ibu semua tak kena ini akka gula lama, bara lama, foga lama. Tapi kalau sudah masuk alat kopi, kan kena pakai tanpa ada muka fio. Ibu semua yakin mu. Kormal tu gara-gara gak fajar tu for two years for five minutes, tu pun gula lama gula sedikit kan jadi kuni. Examples. I lived in Brazil for two years. Chala Chala studied English for five years. For two years and for five years indicates. A past tense for an expression for two years and for five years expresses the action is already happened in the past. But for two years and for five years, expression is also used in a present perfect tense. Because, for example, when you carefully look at example number one, I lived in Brazil for two years. This because Brazil is not new for me. And this implies a present perfect tense. I lived in Brazil for two years. Can you recall me? Brazil or Galama? After that, in Jira era, did I? Can I have Brazil? Can I have Haramiti? Brazil case. I want to talk about it in a bigger. Can I have present perfect tense? Something. Can I have modern thing? What is it? That I can have. Did I? They did not stay at the party the entire time. We walked on the phone for thirty minutes. In the form of 
interviewer conversation how long did you wait for them among you sunny day we wait for one how for one how indicates an expression which is past tense use number four have you seen the past mutano one yo derpen kesa jetura the simple past can also be used to describe a habit which stopped in the past. To make clear that we are talking about a habit, we often add expressions such as always, often, usually, never, when I was a child, when I was younger, and it is yet an expression which is to describe a habit which is in the past, especially when I was a child, when I was younger, or when had I used to. I used to also express habitual action in the past. Example, I studied French when I was a child. When I was a child, this is a habit which is already happened in the past. I know that I'm going to go to French, but I don't know if I'm going to French, but I don't know if I'm going to go to French, but I don't know if I'm going to play the violin. He played the violin means the person has an ability to play a violin today. The habit. Past habit is also interrelated with present perfect tense because, which indicates an ability in the past. The person also it has an ability to do something which has already done in the past. Then the two one other bankers have gone funny. One time if we were making a scab, two and then if we are not making a joke, he got a little scab. When we, when you solve uh, some practical exercise or entrance or exams, you should have to carefully habitual action in the past and duration in a piano but we don't know a person has an ability to play piano or not to play a piano this is indefinite did you play a musical instrument when you were a kid this is a good question in the past she worked at the movie theater after school and when you solve again an exam after or last year or last week use simply past tense they never went to school, they always skipped a class. Okay. Use number five, past facts or generalization. The simple past can also be used to describe past facts or generalization, which are no longer true. That means it is changes with a time. As in use for above, this use of the simple past is quite similar to the expression used to. Used to. It is similar with used to. It may be the person or someone has an ability in the past, but uh, today he may be forget. Or something which is factors in the past may be changes today. Examples. She was shy as a child, but now he is very outgoing. That means when, when she was a child, uh, she may be uh, shy, but no, she is very outgoing. Means she is already, she has already changed her behavior. If to academic, the day order because of in the making, in the matter of children, but no, she is very outgoing. Here one makanagam case about it. Tijet kanafu, one tikun. Here one makanat tijet tira musa agisis. He didn't like tomatoes before. Kanadura tomato indalt. But this indicate he may like or may not like tomato today. Did you live in Texas when you were a kid? I didn't go to New York. It's a negative form of a past tense. Did I go to the New York? Negative question. Past, past tense classified into foreign structure and the time period of action. Number one, simply past tense in uh, Derbena. Number two, past continuous tense in uh, Kesatrasika. Past perfect tense, never more, Ram Derbena. Past perfect continuous tense, Aval Kenyan Tarsik Afi Derbena Yukin, Hinakesa Tarsik Afi, Ram Derbena, Jitu, Derbena Jitu. Now, let us look for of all these four past tenses. Simple past form, subject plus verb to plus objective if it is needed. Past continuous tense form, subject plus was or were plus verb by energy plus objective if it is needed past perfect tense subject plus had plus uh, verb three past perfect continuous tense subject plus had plus b plus verb i and g for today i have completed my lesson on this slide and next week we will see about the four categories of 
Ja se, ja 